Hey, it's Dr. Karen with this week's Hot Topic. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media so you never miss another Hot Topic. So today I wanna to talk to you about one of my favorite fruits, uh, besides bananas, but it's blueberries. Uh, so the good blueberries are always sweet, so you don't want those sour ones, and they're typically in season from late May to early August, so that's also another bit of good news because it means it's summertime. So blueberries are often labeled as the super fruit because they are low in calories and they're incredibly good for you. Um, so they're tasty and convenient that a lot of people consider them their favorite fruit, just like I do. So I've got 10 really cool proven health benefits of blueberries. And then you can feel good about it when you grab a whole bunch of blueberries. So the first thing is blueberries are low in calories, but they are high in fiber, vitamin C, and vitamin K. There are two different types of blueberries, so you can get those high brush blueberries, which are the most common cultivated variety in the US. And then you can have those low brush, uh, low bush or wild blueberries. Um, they're typically smaller and richer in some antioxidants. I know we used to go blueberry hunting when I was younger, and we'd have these big boxes or big uh, buckets, and they'd be empty, but our mouths would be blue, so. Yeah, fresh. Uh, so blueberries, they are um, like the top thing when it comes to antioxidant food. So antioxidants protect your bodies from free radicals and they, um, which are just the unstable molecules that can damage your cells, that contribute to aging and diseases, most particularly cancer that most people have heard of. Um, so blueberries are believed to be one of the highest antioxidant levels of all common fruits and vegetables. So that is number two. Number three are blueberries that go with this. Blueberries reduce DNA damage, which can also help protect against aging and cancer. So we have that oxidative DNA damage, which is that an unavoidable part of life just in general. Um, it happens about tens of thousands of hundreds of times per day in every cell of our body. Um, so that DNA damage is part of the reason why we grow older. So it also plays a role in the development of diseases like cancer. So because blueberries are super high in that antioxidant, they can actually neutralize and um, get rid of some of those free radicals that damage our DNA. So um, kind of goes with the antioxidant as well as the repairing the DNA. Number four, so blueberries protect cholesterol in your blood from becoming damaged. So you kind of see this theme here. Blueberries are really good at protecting us. Um, so oxidative damage is not just limited to our cells and our DNA. It's also a problem for our considered bad LDL or bad cholesterol, which is that LDL, um, so the lower density lipoprotein. So in fact, that oxidative is really bad. This LDL cholesterol is a crucial step in the heart disease process when you have too much of it, your ratio is not right. Um, so the antioxidants that are in blueberries are actually strongly linked to reduced levels of oxidized LDL in the body. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so number five, blueberries do help lower blood pressure. So blueberries appear to have a significant um, health benefit for, for people who do have high blood pressure. Um, now this is just a major risk factor for health disease. So number six, uh, makes sense that blueberries can help prevent heart disease. So um, while eating blueberries is not just going to lower your blood pressure and oxidized LDLs. Now I do want to say as a side note, don't just take blueberries instead of maintaining your blood pressure in other ways. Um, blueberries themselves are not just going to uh, lower their blood pressure. But just keep in mind that all of these things that are high, they're just actually risk factors for not the, but they're not the actual disease. So there is evidence that indicates that eating fruits, which is, uh, uh, you know, it's high in the blueberries, the antioxidants um, can actually do that reduced risk of heart attacks as well. So again, a lot of those risk factors that helps lower it. So that's how it helps lower uh, risk or the heart disease. Number seven is blueberries is really good for brain function and can improve memory. So oxidative stress can accelerate your brain's aging process, negatively affecting brain function. So they've done some animal studies and the antioxidants that they find in blueberries can actually affect the areas of your brain that are essential for intelligence. So um, blueberries also appear to benefit aging neurons, which lead to improvements of cell signaling. So you can 
make those synapses move a little bit faster in the brain as we age. Uh, the eighth thing blueberries are good for is have this anti-diabetic effect. So they've done several studies to show that blueberries actually have this anti-diabetic effect. So it improves insulin sensitivity and lowers blood sugar levels. So you don't have all this extra sugar running around in your body. Uh, the ninth thing is it can help fight urinary tract infections. So typically when we think of UTIs, um, it is more common in women, but usually we think of like, oh, let's go to cranberry juice and it um, is good for helping to prevent types of these infections. But because blueberries are closely related to the same family as cranberries, so again, they're berries, um, they do have a lot of that same active substance in them, so the whole blueberry. Um, so it's the same as cranberry juice, which can prevent that certain bacteria from uh, binding to the wall of the bladder, which uh, th that in itself just helps prevent the UTI. So you don't want bacteria, so it's really good at clearing that out. And then the last thing blueberries are really good for is they can help reduce muscle damage after strenuous exercise. So strenuous exercise can lead to a lot of muscle soreness and fatigue. Um, you feel like you've been beaten up a little bit. So this is driven partially because local inflammation and oxidative stress in your muscles. Um, so that's why you're feeling that. So blueberry supplements or blueberries, um, if you can get them fresh, can uh, lessen the damage that occurs at that molecular level which helps reduce that soreness, reduce the muscle performance, um, and all that muscle fatigue. So you just thought you were eating a handful of blueberries because they tasted good, but they're actually really good for you and they're super easy to find, especially in the Midwest. I mean, really you can get blueberries pretty much anywhere, but um, if you can get them fresh and in the wild, that is the best way, but otherwise local grocery stores have them all year round. Um, they're just better. I mean, you can get the really big ones if you're like May to August. So that's all the scoop I got for you on blueberries. Um, again, just they're pretty amazing. So they're kind of a no brainer if you're looking for something that's really healthy and it's yummy and they're easy to get to. So that's all I have for you guys this week. I will see you guys next time.